Now, time to introduce Prince Charles, but not as you know him. This morning, the Prince is addressing an energy conference in the Middle East, but he won't actually be there. He's appearing as a hologram, a recorded three-dimensional figure. Now, those behind the technology say it'll soon be possible for people to appear virtually from anywhere in the world, like myself. That would be a good idea. That would save some early starts. But what it does save is the vast carbon emitted by flying people around the place. Our environment correspondent Catherine Jacob reports. To vanish into thin air and leave not a carbon footprint behind. He may not be known as the most modern of men, but his concern for the environment has catapulted Prince Charles straight into the 21st century. He's been transformed into a hologram for a virtual speech at an energy conference in Abu Dhabi. If he'd appeared in person, his long-haul flight would have emitted around 15 tonnes of carbon. The virtual version of the Prince of Wales, here he is, is delivering a five-minute speech in Abu Dhabi today, but this message was recorded last year here in the UK at Highgrove. And he's not the only one to have used this hologram technology. This message from David Beckham was recorded in LA but transformed into a hologram and beamed here to London for the launch of an Olympic sponsorship deal. Al Gore also appeared as a hologram at some of his Live Earth concerts last year. And Richard Branson too has been sent across the world as a hologram, no carbon of course, emitted. But the most exciting thing of all is that the company behind this technology say that sooner rather than later they have the potential to beam anyone virtually live in real time anywhere in the world. Businesses really need to follow Prince Charles' example and try and cut emissions, um, perhaps not necessarily by a hologram but certainly by using sort of video conferencing or even the humble teleconferencing call a lot, lot more. The decision to appear as his royal hologram follows stinging criticism last year when Prince Charles emitted 20 tonnes of carbon flying to the United States to collect an award. Criticism, it seems, he's obviously taken to heart. Catherine Jacobs, Sky News. Now, have you ever wished you could be in two places at once? Well, now you can without even leaving home. Prince Charles today became one of the first to do so when he appeared as a hologram for a speech in Abu Dhabi. And as Catherine Jacob reports, in the future, we could all simply beam ourselves up. To vanish into thin air and leave not a carbon footprint behind. He may not be known as the most modern of men, but his concern for the environment has catapulted Prince Charles into the 21st century. By appearing as a hologram in the Middle East instead of in person, he saved 15 tonnes of carbon on a long-haul flight. The virtual version of the Prince of Wales, here he is, is delivering a five-minute speech in Abu Dhabi today, but this message was recorded last year here in the UK at Highgrove. And he's not the only one to have used this hologram technology. This message from David Beckham was recorded in LA, but transformed into a hologram and beamed here to London for the launch of an Olympic sponsorship deal. And Richard Branson too has been sent across the world as a hologram, no carbon of course, emitted. Those behind the technology say it's about to become much more mainstream. The idea is that if you can have a real life experience, between a hologram and the audience, then uh, there will be less of a need to travel. And though the airlines may not approve, the green lobby are thrilled with the possibilities. Businesses really need to follow Prince Charles' example and try and cut emissions, um, perhaps not necessarily by a hologram, but certainly by using sort of video conferencing or even the humble teleconferencing call a lot, lot more. And as the 3D technology is advancing all the time, look out for his royal hologram coming to you live from the virtual world in the near future. Catherine Jacob, 5 News.